Hello everybody, and welcome back to another video. Today, we're finally building Baiju. His banner has come around once again, and I thought, hey, what's a better time than to build the snake man himself, Baiju, in a video? So that's what we're doing today. We prepared a bunch of materials for him. We may even do some rolls for his weapon, even though it's mid. But with that all being said, why don't we get in to building a snake? And this guy too. Oh yeah, also, before we start the video, if you guys could, it would really mean a lot to me if you could just go down and hit that subscribe button. It lets YouTube know that I'm making good content and it lets me know that you guys are enjoying it and that I should put out more videos like these in the future. With that all being said though, let's go and build our Baiju. Alright, so Baiju is an interesting character. He came out quite a while ago, but his release was pretty underwhelming because at the same time of his release, I believe Honkai Star Rail released around that time, so most people didn't end up getting Baiju. And I, however, did get Baiju. I got him, but I never ended up building him. As you can see right now, he's only level 50 on my account, which he should be higher considering he's a 5 star and I like to take all my 5 stars to at least level 80. The only exceptions being him and Chi Chi. And there's one particular reason for that and that's because they both need Violet Grass, which is the worst material to grind in the entire world. I can't exaggerate that enough. There is over 200 violet grass in Leeway, and somehow yet, it's still the most annoying material to grind in the entire game. That being said, we're gonna have to grind some today, because our goal is going to be to take Baiju to his maximum ascension level, and to do that, we're gonna need him a lot of materials. Now, I have prepared some, but I don't believe I have everything I need to take him to the max. So let's just see how far we can get right now with what we have. It looks like we can do level 60. Can we do level 70? It looks like we can. Boom, level 70, perfect. Get the new talent and we keep leveling up. Hopefully we have enough EXP books. I actually didn't check on my EXP books, but I think we have enough. There we go, level 70. And we need a couple more mats for that level 80. Now we're gonna need a little bit more Violet Grass and a couple more Evergloom rings. So in order to get these, I believe we need to go and fight uh, Inquisitus Baptist. I already got a teleport waypoint over there because I've been grinding this boss all week long for this video in particular. So I'm gonna go and kill this boss one or two more times and then hopefully we'll have the materials we need to ascend Baiju. Let's go. What element are you today? You are Hydro, Cryo, and it looks like Electro. Okay, got it. Should be pretty simple. We're using Dia Comp because Dia's the GOAT. Don't question me. And bop. Nice, nice, nice. Big Mona burst. And I don't have my burst up because I'm playing Dia. Classic. It's okay. We almost got the Dia burst up. Oh, look at that. We finally got it. Hallelujah. Get him, Dia. There we go. And now, see, now we do big damage. It just takes a little while to do big damage. But you, we, you get the, you'll get it eventually. You'll get it eventually. Go back in with Dia. And then a couple more hits. And he's dead. Please give me the three banger. Come on now. And a god feather. Ain't the god feather. All right. Well, I believe I have to fight that guy one more time, if I'm not mistaken. Yep, I'm going to have to do one more fight against him. So in the meantime, while we're waiting for him to respawn... Why don't we go and get the rest of our Violet Grass? Now, I was just complaining about how annoying it is to grind, but I think there is an alternative to actually grinding Violet Grass. I believe if we go to Boo Boo Pharmacy, they might actually sell some over there. But I haven't been to Boo Boo Pharmacy in a while, so I guess we'll see. Oh, that's a cutscene trigger, isn't it? I mean, maybe we can sneak around the cutscene. Sneak around the cutscene. Sneak around the cutscene. No cutscene here. I'm good. Let's go. We made it past the cutscene. There's nobody here. Okay, well, luckily, there's another place we can get Violet Grass. The Wong Shu Inn. If I'm not mistaken, the receptionist here should give us some Violet Grass. Hello there, Virgo Death. Give me the grass. Okay, there we go. We got five more. Not everything we need. It looks like we're going to need about 20 more. So I'm going to go get that quickly and we'll be right back. Oh, 
All right, and I think with that, we should have enough now. Let us check quickly. Baiju, ascend. All right, we have enough violet grass now. Perfect. All we need to do, get three more Evergloom rings, and then we will have ourselves a level 80 Baiju. Let's go kill the big man one more time. One more time, Inquisitor Baptist, or Inquisitus Baptist. You have a ridiculous name. You should choose a new one. Boom. Ah, break it. Bennett, go. Oh, he's going to get that off. Yeah, he got it off. Boom. Kozula burst. Dia, it's your time. Your moment to shine. Or it really shouldn't be your moment to shine. It should be Baiju's. But ba Baiju will get his moment in the spotlight in a minute here. We just need to build him first. And then he'll have his big moment. I promise, guys. First and Dia. Let's go. Finish him off. One more hit. Two more hits. Three more hits. Four more hits. Five and dead. Please give me three so I can be done. Three and done. Let's go. We're finished. Okay. And I'm feeling a god flower. Ugh. That's disgusting. Okay, it's fine. With that, though, we do have enough to finally ascend our Baiju to level 80, which we are going to quickly do. Level 80 Baiju, we got him. Let's go. Do we have the EXP books, though? I don't know. It's going to be super tight. We can do 76. Oh. Oh, never mind. We're fine. Okay, I thought it would take a lot more than that for some reason. We're chilling. More than enough EXP books. And we also get one to acquaint fates meaning we're about to go and get our guaranteed baiju five star because if you don't know every time you roll for a baiju or upgrade him you actually have a guaranteed five star every ascension you do is closer to that guaranteed five star you get not usually on that second pull though usually it comes on that third one which is going to happen right okay we'll take the four star what are we going to get i didn't need that and speaking of wishing, we now need a weapon for him. And I don't really have a weapon I particularly want for Baiju. So I thought maybe we would at least try to get his weapon. Or to be completely transparent, I want an excuse to roll for the Farina weapon. And it's actually the weapon I'm hoping to get. But if we happen to get the Baiju weapon, then I won't be upset. See, it's like a win-win. Oh, I'm coping so hard. Oh, 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 please give me the Baiju weapon. I really want the Baiju one. I really badly want the Baiju weapon. Please give me the Baiju one. Ah, ha, ha. Shoot. Damn it. Well, we got two Widsiths. I mean, Sacrificial Fragments. They look the exact same. Maybe that's a sign. Maybe the world is telling me to put Sacrificial Fragments on my Baiju. Yeah, no, I'm just playing. We're using Favonius Codex. No, no doubt. Favonius weapons are the best weapons in the game. And I want a Codex on my Baiju so that he can generate energy for my team. Unless we get his weapon. One single pull. Quickly, quickly. Quick weapon pop. Quick weapon pop. Shoot. It's fine. Artifacts. What artifacts do we want for him? So we have a couple options for artifacts. Generally, we're going to want a lot of HP percent along with with a four piece deep wooded because deep wooded is the set that reduces dendro um however for me i don't have really any hp pieces that i can give baiju in this set so we're gonna have to go for a little bit of an alternative here we're instead gonna be going for the noblesse buff instead no the noblesse buff isn't as good for him but it still works. I would love the Dendro set. I just don't happen to have the pieces right now. So no bless is what we're going to use. For his sands, we're going to go energy recharge. Obviously, we're going to need a lot of ER on him. We could even go HP if we really wanted to, but I don't want to push my luck. Sands, we're of course going to go HP percent without a doubt. Hat, we're probably going to want to go crit rate just because we do have a Favonius weapon. So crit rate is going to be super important. And then for our feather, we're just looking for anyone with a ton of HP subs. And it looks like we have a nice one right here. 17% HP. Sounds good to me. Plus a little crit rate for our Favonius weapon as well. And then for a flower, again, we're just looking for HP and recharge. Like this one right here, which has 15 HP, 12 recharge. Perfect. That's exactly what I need. And just like that, we have a five-piece no bless on him. Perfect. And now that we have his weapon... We got his artifacts. The last thing we're going to need is a new weapon. Please give me Splendor of Tranquil Waters. Please give me Splendor of Tranquil Waters. Please, please, please. please. Damn it. Last thing we're going to need is talents. I believe I have most of his talents acquired. I just need a little bit more, but I should have enough to at least take him to minimum 6-6. Six, six. 
Um, but today we are going to be going for the 7-7, seven, seven, however. So give me a second here while I level up his talents. Okay, never mind. I guess I was lying. We only have enough for the 5-4. I guess we're going to have to go back and do a little bit more grinding then. Let's go to the Domain of Mastery and finish getting some gold books for him. And while we're here, we might as well use Baiju as well for the very first time. We just kind of got to decide on a team we want to use him in. Now, Baiju is, of course, going to be like that support bot. He's going to do all our dendro damage. And we probably want to build him around in like a hyper bloom sort of team. So I'm thinking we pair him with somebody super good like Nouvellet, who will probably break Baiju open. Then we could also throw maybe Fischl in there as well. Not gonna lie, Baiju plus Nouvellet is an absolutely broken pairing. Considering Baiju can provide shields and healing for Nouvellet, which Nouvellet really needs. Not to mention he's Dendro as well. Honestly, for our four slot, I'm thinking we just go Farina. Yeah, this is this comp is going to be kind of broken. This is going to be an insane composition. I'm looking forward to this. We have buffs, we have shields, we have Nouvellet. Oh, this is going to be so much fun. The only thing I don't particularly like about Baiju is that he doesn't apply much Dendro on the field. So this is about our only Dendro application, which we get until we get a shield. Luckily though, that's why we have him on Favonius, right? It's because we're going to be able to get that burst up very fast. And honestly, DPS, oh my goodness, DPS Baiju, what the heck? <laughs> DPS Baiju plus Fischl is kind of broken. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, DPS Baiju. Hey, I, I don't even got to use Nouvellet. Why is Nouvellet in this comp? Nouvellet who? I'm just saying we don't use Nouvellet. I mean, what's the point? DPS Baiju seems to hold his own pretty well. I mean, it is because Fischl and Farina together is absolutely broken. But hey, I'm liking Baiju as well, man. Like, look at this. Oh, get on Baiju. Oh my goodness. That is kind of absurd. I mean, I, I guess you could really just do that with any Dendro Catalyst, but with Baiju, it's especially fun. Let's keep going. Let's do it again. This wasn't meant to be a DPS Baiju video, but hey, I'm not complaining. DPS Baiju is kind of fun. I love using main DPS Catalyst units just in general. They're, they're so much fun. And it's also just kind of broken. It's like you can do this with any Catalyst unit in the game. And that's what makes Catalyst units specifically so much fun. All right, we got one last run here. Let's get the rest of our uh, talent books here and then we'll be good to go. We got Farina burst off. Boom, 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 boom. And then I guess we can let Nouvellet have a little screen time. Just just a smidge of screen time. I felt kind of bad for him. We kind of ignored him for like this entire run. But to be honest, we just didn't need him. Baiju is too OP. Oh yeah, and also that was with a level one normal attack, by the way. That's just how OP Hyper Bloom is. Anyways, let's finish leveling up to the six, six, five there, six there. And then I have to go craft. Okay, hopefully we can craft six more. Let's see here. Can we craft six? We can craft 12. Perfect. Double of what we needed. There we go. Baiju, talents. We're going to get level six there. And I think we can do level seven as well. Yep, level seven on the skill. And then we can also do level seven on the burst. Perfect. And that is our Baiju come pleated let's show off his final build of the day these are his finished stats he is going to have 1k attack zero elemental mastery which isn't great i should probably improve that 46 crit rate may need a little bit more crit rate on there for the favonius proc then we got 223 recharge and 25 dendro damage bonus then we got favonius codex we got the five piece noblesse and our talents 177 and that is our finish baiju why don't we take him for one last little spin in the spiral abyss and i'm thinking we whip out dps baiju again I'm thinking we bring it back because honestly, I love using him on field. He's a lot more fun when he's on field than just putting up his shield and getting off field. That's kind of boring to be honest. So I'm thinking this time we're going to have a lot more fun using Baiju, Kazua, and then Fischl and Farina. And then Baiju substitutes as our healer and our DPS at the same time. This is about to break the game. This is about to break the game open. Here we go. So we're gonna immediately group everything up with Kazuha, Farina, and then we can do Farina burst, boom, and then Baiju. And then we just do this. <laughs> Let's go Baiju, come on. Oh my goodness, look at him. Look at him go. Oh my, everything's gone. That was like 10 seconds. That was no time at all. That was so fast. Everything just died. 
Okay, maybe floor 10 is a little too easy. Let's try... Let's try floor 11 instead. The only problem with floor 11 is that it does have some pyro units. So we're going to have to build a team particularly to beat pyro wallpaper flowers and pyro slime. So I'm thinking maybe we throw Nouvellet in there this time and we try using Baiju in his proper role as our support character, which is the role he's meant to fill. So we're going to throw him there in the final slot and actually use him the way he's meant to be used. Because DPS Baiju uh, may be a little too broken for this game to comprehend. Let's go. So first thing we're gonna wanna do is of course throw out, throw out the burst so we can get some Dendro application. And then we're gonna throw out Farina burst. And we're gonna wanna shield up at all times. Okay, so we have a shield. And now with his shield up, we can, then can go into Nouvellet and Nouvellet never gets hit. He never gets hit by anything because he has the Baiju shield. Baiju shield, broken. And anytime we lose the shield, we immediately get it back. There we go. We got a shield back. Let's go. We got one last enemy. And that enemy is dead. I mean, man, this character is kind of more insane than I thought. He is very versatile. The shield, the healing, I mean, he does everything. I absolutely love Baiju. I'm happy I built him. He is hopefully one of the last five stars I'll have to level 80. The only two I have after this are Chi-Chi and Riosli which Rizli is only because he's new. So I'd say we had a pretty successful build episode today. We got, we did everything we could for him. He's now max level and he's now at his maximum potential too. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I know I did. And I'm going to see you all in the next one. Peace.